YouTube is Rico, man. I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on, man. We got Crip Rapper going through hell and jail. Gangs won't let him hit general population. Now, I did a reaction video to him a while ago um, by the same guy that posted a video on him. So, I got I can't even really remember too much about his case. I know he did get arrested. I think it was actually for drugs and, and, sh and aiming a gun and all that at law enforcement and stuff like that. And... He was just pretty much off drugs and going crazy um, and got arrested pretty much at the end of the day. And he had other cases going on before that, I guess. And also he had a run in with some ops that he beefing with and stuff like that. And he got lucky to even still be alive to this day because the op ended up actually showing him a gun and everything. and pull, It was about to basically pull it out on him and use it. So they was trying to get him instead to pretty much come to a, a more secluded location where ain't no cameras and stuff, because they caught him at a gas station and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, man, it is what it is. He definitely got a lot of um, enemies from what I can see and stuff. So, hey, man, it's what, it's what happens when you go to the streets, man. You gotta, gotta have a lot of consequences that you're gonna have to deal with and be able to rise above it. But if not, you're gonna end up in jail or in the dirt somewhere gone but other than that man y'all know what time it is if you're brand new to the channel or you've been watching videos on the channel but for some reason not subscribe yet hit that subscribe button right now make sure you tell your friends and family about our channel and when you do that make sure y'all also smash that like button and comment on the video to help this video get recommended to a large audience of people and hopefully bring in new supporters to the channel to help us on the ground to 5k other than that man let's start this video starting with the screen record that started and we're gonna start this video now Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 10 out of J, but I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on the Rolling 60s Crip rapper from Nashville, how he's been doing in jail, and how he just got hit with new charges stemming from an incident where he was apparently shot. Now, we first spoke on the famous carrot top. You got arrested and you got hit with some even more charges. That's tough. A crit. Back when he made headlines for firing a gun in his apartment, crying in the back of a cop car, and threatening to send hits on the police. But we have some new news about not only how he's been doing in jail, but how he's facing new charges stemming from aiming guns at other people and getting himself shot. First and foremost, big shout out to Scoop Nashville. If you want to stay up to date on the criminal activities, who did what and who got locked in the city, definitely tap in with them. Now they went above and beyond and were able to obtain the jail incident reports for the infamous Chief True. And it doesn't sound like they're respecting his cripping behind the wall. Mm. An officer reported Chief came in the intake dorm, went in his cell and went slapped to sleep. Later waking up, he was demanding a phone call as he cried again, screamed, hit and kicked the cell door. The officer explained he missed the phone time, but she gave him a tablet to make a call, and he was crying so much he didn't understand what the fuck she was talking about. He called her a stupid bitch, saying he needs to speak with his lawyer, and kept going off, calling her a fat fucking bitch, broke ass bitch, ugly ass bitch, even saying she fucks the inmates. He kept kicking the door, she called backup, and they put leg restraints... And you already, so if you don't realize what you got going on, man, you really ain't in no position to really be demanding anything, let alone be talking that crazy. Because at the end of the day, all you gonna do is give them a reason if they if they not good cops, like they really go about the law and stuff, that they mess around and have something happen to you in jail. Because I didn't heard a lot of stories about being in prison and jail and stuff like that, where law enforcement sometimes be corrupted even behind the walls when they. And they doing stuff to the inmates and stuff like that, letting stuff happen behind closed doors that ain't expressed to the public or talked about to the public and stuff, man. Because at the end of the day, majority of the of the people on the outside looking in is always gonna be on the cop side, period. The police is gonna make it whatever narrative or situation they wanted to make about an inmate that's in jail and people are gonna pretty much run with that story and believe it and won't really have no sympathy at all for what's going on with those inmates for real, for real. So at the end of the day, you really ain't, 
got no benefit of anything without your lawyers at the end of the day. So if he misses phone time, that's on him, man. You should just chill out, wait till the next day, call your lawyer up, and then y'all go from there, man. Because at the end of the day, you can potentially fuck around and get even more charges just by being in jail, which he did. But he can get locked up for, like, not even locked up. Obviously, he already locked up. But get more charges for, if, say, if the police claim that he hit them or he did something to them or he did something that isn't the rules of the jail that he's in, then they can hit him with a charge for that. Stuff like that, man. So, at the end of the day, you jammed up. Better just make your peace. Be cool, chill, wait till you talk to your lawyer, and so on and so on, and keep your keep your hands clean at the end of the day. It's on him. Then moving him to a medical. Plus, you a whole game banger up in there and stuff, and you already know what comes with that too. So at the end of the day, you really got really no choice but to chill out, unless you know you got some people up in there that's gonna protect you too as well. Cause y'all know y'all need people that's gonna protect you when you on the inside at the end of the day. Cause if you up in there alone. Sometimes it's gonna be real hard for you to be cool and not have any problems. So, as a nurse was checking his restraints, Chief started saying he's going to kill himself, even attempting to hit his head on the wall. He was placed on suicide watch in a safety room where he turned it up a notch on staff after they told his suicidal ass to strip naked, saying, fuck you, boy, N word, pussy ass police. He was then placed in a restraint chair in a cell, and just to clarify, according to the incident report, there was a hot EI at the end of the N-word, and it doesn't sound very Roman 60s crypt to me. And under- Yeah, man, and you using a term like that, you definitely just asking for trouble now. So now you really the messed up. You locked up for a reason and stuff, and you already got stuff going on. So why would you make it even worse on yourself? Now you putting an even bigger target on your back for saying the N word. You already know how a lot of African Americans feel about that word. Period. So, and you already know the jails also make up a huge population of African Americans. So at the end of the day, you definitely just asking to play with fire at that point. Two weeks. He received a house and transfer from his happy cell to back in general population. And before he even made it in a dorm, inmates were on the glass doors and windows screaming threats and making gang-related comments towards Chief True, letting his ass know he ain't welcome in the house. The guys peeped game on what was going on and obviously didn't want to fill out the paperwork after carrying his lifeless 100-pound body out of the dorm. So they put him in a holding cell and determined it was unsafe to put him in general population. So just 19 days in, he's cried multiple times, gone psych, and is officially protective custody cripping his way through jail. But that isn't all. He was just hit with new charges on top of the offenses that brought him to jail. And apparently he has a federal hold for the AI style pistol he was arrested for shooting. Chief True was charged in connection to two attempted robberies, including one where he was shot by the man he tried to rob. An arrest warrant states 20-year-old Callan Williams pulled a gun on a man who was performing maintenance on a car at Cherry Creek Apartments on Crystal Spring Lane the night of November 16, 2020. When Williams pointed the gun at the man's chest, the police report alleges the victim grabbed for the gun and was shot in the thigh, leading Williams to flee. A few minutes later, police said Williams showed up at Highlands at the Lake Apartments on Arbor Lake Boulevard and pointed a pistol at a man. That man then pulled out his own gun and fired at Williams, striking him, according to investigators. So it sounds like Chief was putting in a little bit of work out there in the streets, but I mean, he never actually robbed him for anything. He just attempted to and failed. And to be honest, the new charges he has on top of his old charges... I can damn near guarantee he's going to be doing some time. And we can already tell it won't be easy for him. If he thinks jail is bad, prison is going to be a whole new experience. And I don't think he'll even be repping crit by the time he makes it upstate if he can't even live in a jail dorm. Now, is anybody actually surprised? I'm sure a lot of y'all that watch this have been to jail, maybe even prison. And I'm sure a ton of y'all haven't. And I don't know. I don't know if y'all can look at someone and just think like, oh, he's not going to make it. Oh, he's going to make it. Because I've seen people his size that was slaughtering people in prison, like literally jumping up and cutting people's faces open, like swinging on the police, like on that. You know what I mean? 
So I try to give the, you know, benefit of the doubt when it comes to certain people, but crap. The way I look at it, man, in terms of fighting and stuff like that, size really don't matter. If you know how to use your weight and muscle and all that, no matter how big you is, you can be 100 pounds, you could be 150, 200. Somebody that's 100 or 120 or anything below 150 can knock somebody out that's 150 and above. So, at the end of the day, you just got to know how to use your, your muscle and weight and know how to actually fight. But you got some people that you could clearly just look at and say, yeah, they definitely ain't about it and stuff. So, you already know that they not going to really survive and do too much and stuff like that. And we already seen basically what he been doing in jail lately, which is screaming, calling the cops words and stuff, saying the N word and all that stuff. So that definitely ain't going to help him in no prison, especially a prison, because prison is way bigger and way more populated. And you got a lot, excuse me, a lot more, um, more dangerous people that's up in there and they're in there for a reason. Some of them murderers, killers, et cetera, et cetera. Murderers and killers, same thing. But either way, at the end of the day, it's more serious people that's locked up in prison than it is in jail. So imagine doing all that while you in prison. Now you just, you pretty much asking to get killed that day <laughs> at, the end of, at the end of it all. So it is what it is, man. But yeah, I know what he's talking about, though, man. You try to give some people the benefit of the doubt, but some people you just look at and know that the stuff they be probably trying to rap about or talk about, they not really about it, period. So it is what it is, man. I in the cop car. I tried to blame it on the Xanax. Like, maybe the pills made him cry. I don't know. But, I mean, he went to jail. He's already crying in jail. They're not even letting him in the house. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever experienced this, right? But one of the most intimidating parts of jail, prison, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. You're going to feel some form of intimidation. You're going to feel something. You're going to feel that adrenaline. You're going to feel like, all right, I'm going to walk into combat. It's like about to play football, and you see the other team. You know what I mean? And they're all big as shit. And you're like, okay, this is going to be some real shit. You know what I mean? You're walking <laughs> into the way. You're not going to, hey, coach, I can't play today. You got to get in there and play. So when you get moved into a dorm, and you know they got four different wings to it, and it's glass walls, everyone can see you. They're running up on the walls, banging on the walls, pointing at you, telling you what it is if you come in. Boy, I know your adrenaline pumping. Like, you finna, yeah, you gotta go in there. There's no backing up, there's no telling the police, hey, Saj, um, I don't think they want me in there, Saj, I can't do it, they're gonna take my coffee cake. Nah, bitch, you better get in there and crash some shit first quarter. You better find a broomstick or something, bump, hit whoever you can hit, because they're not going to spare you when you get in there. And I mean, this kid... I can't. All y'all got to do is go watch stuff like, um, what they call it, them jail shows at the end of the day. It's a lot of them. You got some that's on AMC or whatever it is, um, networks that they come on and stuff. So y'all can pretty much see what he talking about at the end of the day in prison. A lot of they guys don't play for real. Like, they dead ass be serious about the stuff that's going on. And they, nine times out of ten, they really don't care about catching another case while they up in there. Because some of them already up in there for a lifetime anyway. So some of them just look at it as, it is what it is. I'm up in here forever anyway. So I might will go ahead and do whatever I want to, whether it be knocking somebody out or killing them. It's, it's just that simple. There ain't no other way to really sugarcoat it. So it is what it is. Once you go to prison, it's, it's definitely just that type of time for, for a lot of those inmates that's in there, period. Can't imagine the look on his face just standing there like, oh, shit. What up, cuz? <laughs> I'm looking back at him like, we finna kill you. But the CO's peep game, it didn't say that he checked PC. It didn't say that he told the CO, nah, I can't go in there. It didn't say none of that. So he gets points for that, right? Because... I mean, to my understanding, that means if they popped the door, he was going to walk in there and accept whatever happens. And that's that's what you're supposed to do. But the CEOs peaked what time it was, and they were like, nah, we're going to take you. And at that point, he could have been like, no, sir, I want to get put in there. I'm not getting put nowhere else. I'm not getting put on PC or in a holding cell. I'm getting put in there. You know what I mean? You could fight it. And uh, he obviously didn't fight it, which was, I guess, a smarter move for him. He's only like 100 fucking pounds. But, you know, he ends up going psych. He's calling people the N-word with an E-I. Like, it ain't the slang version. You know what I mean? And for somebody that's a 
white rolling 60s crip rapper unless they just wrote it down as that his people that's on the outside if that's really his people because you know sometimes you might have a six nine type of person that's doing stuff like where they act like they are part of something but they really not and repping stuff that they really not really repping for real so it is what it is but I, at the end of the day those people that that's supposed to be with him that was outside with him and stuff before he got locked up better not claim him no more after this because this is going to be a bad look on them if they if they still hang around him after he didn't say what he said and y'all already know that Crips and Bloods and all the and majority of gangs that exist in U.S. got a huge population of African Americans. So, hey, y'all already know what time it is. Y'all better not claim them if y'all do. Yeah, y'all gonna be looked at some type of way for that. But pretty sure they probably don't even contact them or have contact with them at all ever since he got locked up. And then now when they hear about this, they definitely not gonna wanna have anything to do with them. So. Yeah, what it is, man. He burning bridges left and right and putting himself in a deeper hole than he really should be doing. And the paperwork? I don't know. That's a little bit iffy, bro. That's not a good look. And I mean, they got this shit on paperwork. So, like, anywhere he goes, they're going to pull up these receipts and question him on this shit if they even give him an opportunity to defend himself. And I'm talking about the inmates. If he goes to prison and they get a cell phone, they're going to be like, hmm, 1090 Jake said, yo, bitch ass was saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and he gonna have to deal with yo. whatever he's gotta deal with. But that really ain't my fucking problem. This is an example of somebody that wants to live that life and be in. Where trying to live that life goes wrong. Period. That's all that is for him. Tough with a pistol. You know what I mean? Anybody can be tough with a gun. That's why you see these little itty bitty jack boys running around with shit that's bigger than them. And then when they don't have that gun anymore, they're screaming and crying. You gotta get me up out of here, man. But this is the true reality of jail, prison, etc. A lot of people will gain. And that's the thing too, man. There's only a select few people that will throw hands and protect they so the pretty much about anything and everything. But you just gotta come across the right one. Some people that's around his size probably ain't definitely gonna wanna mess with with nobody if they ain't got no weapon or anything to protect themselves but some people you will find that will protect themselves with or without a weapon so just gotta come across the right one but him you probably can tell he clearly ain't about that without that weapon period on the street and a lot of them will even be embraced by the people on the street that they're around like they'll all be banging crip they'll all be banging blood because they're not going through it with anyone. They're not beefing with anybody. There's no pressure being applied on them. You know what I mean? So it's easy to gang bang when you don't have ops. And that's how it is in a lot of fucking places. They don't have no ops. They don't have no smoke with no one. The guns is just for pictures and shit. So when you actually land in a county jail, now pressure's getting applied. And it might be your own people that are like, bitch, we're not 16, 17. We grown ass men. We've been banging this shit for 20 years. We ain't gonna let you crack ass in this shit, and now it's a whole nother world. Either you're gonna put on and demand acceptance, or, you know, you're gonna go psych and do what he did. But, hey, it's 10 out of J. Don't be like him. I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me. Till next time. And that's pretty much the end of the video, man. Yeah, he in a tough situation, man. Either way he look at it, he... He, he pretty much screwed in jail, prison, wherever he gonna end up at, and if he get back in freedom, because now the people that's on the outside that's supposedly rock with him and, and rep the same thing, he rep the, six, the Rolling 60s scripts and stuff like that, they pretty much gonna have to check him at the end of the day. So, like like I said, man, he pretty much burned his bridges left and right, so he kinda in a bad situation at the end of, at the end of the day, whether he in jail or not in jail, so. It is what it is, man. We just gonna have to wait and see what happens. But that's the end of this video, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're brand new, man, I'm gonna see y'all later on with more videos. Peace. And don't forget to tell your friends and family as well.